controversial red card. Vieira, Campbell, Arsenal just inside their own half. Then the run off the shirt of Colin Cooper and Gareth Southgate is by Sylvain Viltord, close to the byline. Puts the cross in, Parler's joined everybody. Ajax header, and looking ricochets, oh, Reed scores for Arsenal! Over on the left, Giovanni Van Bronckhurst's first touch. One-twos have been worked. Adams, Grimondi, every pass cheered by the visiting supporters. Look at the run ahead there, edge of the area. Hey, York's got to be careful, or down goes Arsenal player. What's the referee given? He's given a penalty kick. This could decide the points. It's Perez against Schwarzer. Perez takes, and he scores, and it's 2-0 to Arsenal. So Steve McLaren's debut at the Riverside looks if it's going to end in defeat, because the Gunners have a two-goal advantage. Far have shown in flashes though, great deal of improvement from last season. But thus far, not an improvement in the scoreline against the Arsenal team who've got genuine championship credentials. Ashley Cole, who won the penalty. Cole, Bergkamp, onside, Bergkamp, Bergkamp, 3-0. It's turning into a rout now for Arsenal. 3-0 down. Yeah, it's three against three at the back. Give it ten men. As Bergkamp is again clear. Bergkamp against Schwarzer. Bergkamp scores and it's 4 0 to Arsenal. Schwarzer tries to release Carlos Marinelli away quickly and Marinelli's ball forward is on to Macaroni. This is a great early chance for Borough. And Massimo Macaroni nearly capped his full Borough debut in the Premiership with a glorious goal. A point represented a satisfactory start on the travels. But the season began for the Borough at Fulham and after trying hard to bring in new talent, the only player making his debut was fullback Alan Wright. But the first player to put his mark onto the new campaign was the talented but inconsistent Carlos Marinelli. Well, Fulham are playing a brave game at the back there. And they've lost it now. And it's Marinelli with the opportunity. Carlos Marinelli! Oh, he's opened the scoring. And Middlesbrough one up at Loftus Road. And it's Carlos Marinelli who was perhaps the surprise name in the Middlesbrough starting lineup. Who's opened the scoring and delighted the travelling supporters? And we said that Fulham were playing a brave game at the back. They were dispossessed, Trevor, and they, they paid got, the penalty. I think they got punished there, Mike, for a bit of overconfidence. They're obviously very com comfortable on the ball, but you don't do it in your, in your back third. Is Bonacell? Bonacell, a chance for Fulham to equalise. And it's Steve Marley who's put the home side back on terms. It's Fulham trying to create another opportunity, a chance for Saha here, he's touched the ball back. That is the second goal, and this time it is Inamoto, no mistake. Marley does get his cross away, but well, Saha went for the spectacular, it's come through to Inamoto. Inamoto with a shot, and Saha's put the ball in the back of the net, and it's Fulham three, Middlesbrough one. Middles for it. It's been a long journey, a lot at the moment. But flag stayed down against Nemeth now. An excellent chance, and Sillard Nemeth has pulled one back for Middlesbrough. Sillard Nemeth has pulled the goal back that Borough vitally needed. Oh, Nicky Butt winning that one effectively. Chris Triggett unfortunately stumbles, and here goes Bellamy one on one with the goalkeeper. Bellamy round the goalkeeper, and Bellamy will score for Newcastle United. And it's a moment to forget for Chris Riggard. It's a moment of delight for Bellamy. And it's Borough nil. It's Newcastle 1. Fans, Jimmy Floyd, Hasselbank, right hand side of the area. He puts it in the box. Surely Downing. Downing takes it. Goal! Goal! Surely Downing! The kid from Paris! Sends the Riverside into absolute ecstasy. Stuart Downing's first goal ever in the Premier League brings it level in the derby. It's the Borough one, it's Newcastle one, and we all hail a local hero.
penalty to Newcastle. Well, Shearer's going to take it. His 500th career league appearance. He could put Newcastle 2-1 ahead. Shearer against Schwarzer. Shearer takes it. Shearer scores. Trademark fashion celebrates his goal with the Newcastle fans. And it's Borough 1. It's Newcastle 2. season. A Sporo looking for an early breakthrough here with Yakubu out wide on the right hand side of play. Yakubu cutting the edge of the penalty area, left footed delivery towards the far post. Downing arrives, Stewie Downing scored. It's the opening goal of the season for the Borough. It's the boy wonder who scored it. And Downing goes to the Borough fans to celebrate, kisses the badge, and look at the quality of the Yaks cross under the boot of Downing, left footed, and Borough are one up. Free kick in a very interesting position. Rockenbach takes it, the goalkeeper fumbles it. Yakubu is there, and that's 2 0 Borough. A terrific start to Borough on the opening day of the season. Yakubu and George Botang celebrating, and Middlesbrough really have a splendid platform at Reading. Rockenbach free kick, the goalkeeper should have done better, but the Yak was on the spot and Borough two up. Approaching half time then, Borough still have the two goal advantage, Reading trying to find a way back into the game, the cross comes into the penalty area, hasn't really been dealt with and Reading once more have an opportunity to put real pressure on here, a couple of minutes away from the break, Mark Schwarzer tries to get it, the ball's forced over the line and Dave Kitson has brought Reading back in the game two minutes before the break. So Borough from a position of being two up, well, less than comfortable here. 2-1 is the advantage, and Reading once more coming forward. It's their opening game in the Premiership. Left free ball inside the penalty area. Shot low beyond the reach of Mark Schwarzer, and Steve Sidwell with the goal. This is astonishing stuff. Medeski Stadium, it's all tied up now, 2-2. Now Reading pushing on into the second half. Right free ball inside the area. Leiter is there possibly, the goalkeeper tries to get Mark Schwartz and Leiter it is indeed, 3-2 to Reading. Julio Arca breaking his foot added to the pain of defeat. And the so with all the changes in place, the season would begin on a warm August afternoon against Blackburn Rovers. Injury would prevent Luke Young from making his debut and Jonathan Woodgate was also on the comeback trail, so including the starting 11 was David Wheater, who would make a terrific impact during the campaign. But Borough's new season would get lift off thanks to another local lad, the highly talented winger Stuart Downey. on the right hand side and there's the header and there's the equaliser they come Blackburn in the penalty area then the shot goes in and Blackburn take the lead the opening day defeat was a 